Okay, we're up to the Mishnah on Chaf, Chaf Hei Amid Beis, the bottom line. Before to understand the Mishnah, we have to go over our halacha that we've been exposed to many times. Bismana uh, Zeh, a person should not go ahead and be magdash any animal because you cannot, we have no base amigdash for us to go ahead and bring the animal as a carbon. However, there's a certain situation that's beyond our control and it's called a Bechar. If an animal is born to a Bechar, if an animal is a Bechar, it's, it's the firstborn of the mother. <laughs> Yeah, you're, it has the Kedusha, and it has to be brought in the Beis HaMikdash. It has to be brought as, as a carbon. The problem is we have no Beis HaMikdash. So there's a fallback. If it goes ahead and receives a mum, if it receives a blemish, then it could be eaten outside the Beis HaMikdash. Failure that, to shech the Bechor outside the Beis HaMikdash, it would be shchute chutz, fellas. That would be a disakaris. It's very severe, severe, severe avera. If you shech the Bechor outside. So our Mishnah is going to be dealing with the scenario of Anyantif or Bukhar Anyantif. And we get into some very interesting halachas. Says the Mishnah on Chaf Hayamid Beis. Bukhar Shanafala bar. A Bukhar falls into a bar. Rabbi Yehuda Aimer, Rabbi Yehuda says, Rabbi Yehuda's of the opinion, Yairaid, go down, Mumcha, go ahead and bring a Mumcha down into the pit. Vi'ira'e, and let him view it. And let him see. If it has a mum, that a blemish that you could go ahead and shecht it with, take it up out of the pit and shecht the animal. The imlav, and if it doesn't have a mum, you shouldn't shecht it. It's kind of surely shecht it. What do you mean, like of course you don't shecht it. It's, it's a balmum. It's a, it's a tam. A tam you don't shecht. Rabbi Shimon says, Kol if the mum is not nikr, it's not considered prepared. So this, this, this mission is very, very, it's missing a kind of information because first of all, we know there's a machloikas throughout Shas between Rabbi Yehuda, who's machmir by Muktza, and Rabbi Shimon, who is makel by Muktza. So if this animal before Ben Hashmashos did not have a mum, what would it help to go ahead and send, according to Rabbi Yehuda, down into the pit, uh, uh, someone to look at it, even if you would look at it and say, wow, it broke its leg on the way down, it's got a terrible mum, you still won't be able to shecht it. It's mutza because ben hashmashay, so it was a tam, a tam. And if Yehuda holds that, what? That it's what? It, you can't shecht it. So obviously it can't be speaking where there was nothing there. Because Rabbi Yehuda would make no sense. Because even, <clears throat> even if the, the mumcha would go down there and ascertain without a shadow of a doubt that it's a mum kavua, you still would not be able to shecht it. Not because of the Bukhar Dikadin, but because of the Muktza Yantif Dikadin, because Bein Hashmash says it wasn't there. Now comes along Rabbi Yehuda, who, Rabbi Shimon, who holds of Muktza, meaning he's Mekel by Muktza, he says you can't look at it at all. So, exactly what is going on over here in this Mishnah? So, Rashi tells us it had a Mum Mibay Yoyim. The Mum was there from before. And the question is will we allow, a, will we allow a person to look at this, this mum on Yontif about the mum that was there before. So it, it, to see Rashi, guys, go look, look at Rashi, the top Rashi. And if it's the mum showed up on Yontif, he's not going to matter it. Because he wasn't thinking about this animal from yesterday. And here's the way you have to read the Mishnah. You had a, a mum. A, 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 a the Bechar had a mum. What you should have done, <clears throat> gone to an expert to see if what, in fact, it's a mum kavua that you could shecht, or a mum over, a mum that's passing by, a transient mum that you can't. But the moon was there because it wasn't there. We, this, we, this mission does not begin if the moon wasn't there. So there was a moon, and you really should have shown it to a chacham, but you didn't. Now, Vinafula Bar, this now falls into a pit, Viyantif. Yared Mumcha, you lower a mumcha into the pit. Viyere Mum Shahaya Boy Etmo, look at the moon that was there from yesterday. Imum Kavuahu, Yala Viyishchait. And if it's a moon that's Kavuah, you can go ahead and bring it up. Mishum de Muksaleka. The may etmol dalte alavei, because since it had a mum, you were thinking about it the day before. 
And Rosh Shimon says, Ein zeh menamuchin, la mishum muktza asalei, the less like muktza, right? He doesn't all the muktza. Elefish matiru biyantif, nere kimetachnoi, the havi kilei kidon din, the gaza by mishum shvus. Vahachi kamar, ena terasai heter, vein a mucha la hachshir, and it's not permitted. Without Rashi, this Mishnah is, is total, total ambiguity. Now listen to this. We're taking away the Muktza problem, guys. We say it had a mum. So this guy knows I had an animal that had a mum. You can't check the animal unless you have an expert to tell to Paskin that this mum is a mum kavua. Can you show it to a Expert on Yontif. That's the subject at hand. Nothing to do with Muksa, because if Muksa, forget about it. But Yudha says, since I was thinking about it yesterday, despite the fact I didn't show it to a Chacham, I could so, show it to a Chacham today. Says Reb Shimon, who's make of a Muksa, says, you can't show it to a Chacham today, because if you show it to a Chacham today, it's like you're attacking, it's like you're making it available. It's like separating Trumus and Mice on, on Shabbos. You're making something that was unavailable available. This was not available till you showed it to an expert. He wasn't available till you showed it to the expert. I won't let you show it to an expert on Yontif. That's Matakin. That's the Mishnah, guys. That's the Mishnah. That's what you have to have shot in the Mishnah. Okay? Now, if that's the shot in the Mishnah, whether you show it to an expert or not, comes out that you went ahead and you threw a wrench into the work. Why does that have to be speaking where it was fell into a pit? L'chari, they could be arguing when it didn't fall into a pit. I have an animal that has a mum. I didn't show it to an expert. Can I show it to the expert on Yantif? So what are you bringing in the pit? <laughs> it's a total extraneous thing that has nothing to do with the subject at hand. Even without going into the pit, you'd still have the same problem. You'd have the problem whether you show it to an expert or not. Fred the Gemara, the my Kamifli, what are they arguing about? Inema beroyin mumim kamiflugi. If they're arguing whether you can see mumim, Rabbi Yehuda Sava Royan mumim biyantif, Rabbi Shimon Sava ain't Royan mumim biyantif. The liflug be Royan be mumim the alma. So go ahead and argue, and don't say it's speaking about when it fell into a pit. Again, the way we explain this beautifully, <clears throat> there's no mukze problem over here because it had a mum beforehand. The only shaila was what this is a mum that you can check it on or not. Says Rabbi Yehuda, you could check it. Says Rabbi, Rabbi, Rabbi Shimon, you can't check it. So why are you speak, speaking about where it fell into a pit? And for the Gemara, Now, there's another thing that we didn't discuss. Why are we lowering the guy into the pit? Why aren't we taking the animal out of the pit to check it? Ella, because it's a tircha. I mean, not matriach and Guys, we're not going to take the animal out of the pit if it's for no, no purpose. So in, in, until I ascertain whether it's a mum kevua that you can shaft it on or a mum uh, ovar that you can't, you're not going to take it out of the pit. That's a tircha. It's a tircha. Ah, so says the, here's a chiddush now. Salka I mean, I would have thought. Mishum tzabar lechayim. Tzabar lechayim. You have this animal that's fetching in the pit. You had a heard that raccoon last night, guys, when it got caught in that trap. It shrieked so loud, my, my blood, but my back goes, Ugh. So you have this animal that's caught in this trap, in this pit. It's, it's not happy, Kampa, at all. So you might have thought, what? La'ara make a trick, and to bring it up, Rabbi Yeshua, like Rabbi Yeshua, who we're going to meet later on. Good. So, that you don't. So, you're hearing a side chiddush. Really, the machloikis is taka whether you look at a mum or not. And the reason we're not bringing it up is tircha. And the chiddush is you might think you bring it up because it's about the chayim, kamashmon, you don't. Now, if the whole shayla is what, that to the, whether you bring it up or not. Your chiddush is that, guys, comes out the chiddush is whether, not whether you go down or not, whether you bring it up or not. So what do you mean? <laughs> the machloikis is whether you're bringing it up or not, and that's the chiddush. So say, add the words, you do not bring it up to shecht. So the tzricha, the avav aska, you brought it up in the first place. Sakta, I mean a lishchachte, I think you shecht it after you brought it up. Kamash mlon, shezma the shachte, you tamhu. How can you bring it? It's a tam. How can you shecht it? Like tzricha the nafel be muma. In fact, the mum. So you know, all that, you know all this information. Well, muktzahu. If if, I, if the mum fell in on on yontif, it's muktzah because ben hashmashas it was a tam. 
Here's the information that all you know, guys. A mum had erev yantif. A mum that you couldn't shecht it on erev yantif. This mum would go away. Ella the nafu be mum over mer yantif a hashta havile mum kavua. Now this mum over turned into a mum kavua. So now the time of the dati elave that his das was on it erev yantif finish shechte and shecht it since what he he brought it up already. Kamash mulan it's still muksamachmas issa. It's still muksamachmas issa because at that time it was also because you didn't know it's also. That's the kiddush. Now, Rabbi Yehuda of our mission is Rabbi Yehuda Bar Eloi. Rabbi Yehuda in Shas is Rabbi Yehuda Bar Eloi. This is Rabbi Yehuda Hanasi. He was uh, who we call Rabbeinu HaKadosh. Bechor Tam, and we hear the word Tam. Guys, when it says Tam, that means that you, you couldn't have shechted the Rabbeinu HaShemashas. Of course, it's a Tam. Bechor Tam Shnaf Lebar, Rabbi Yehuda Hanasi Oimer, Yered Mumcha, put a Mumcha down into the pit, and let him see it. If it has a mum, bring it up. Now, this is the train of the guys. Rabbi Yehuda Nasi doesn't hold the mukza. It's a tam. Ben Ashmash, this was a tam. It falls into the pit on Yantif. You're still sending a person down to see if you can shecht it. One second. Even if it's a mum, the biggest mum in the world, how can I shecht it? It's mukza. Ella, you see, when he said a Tam, Rabbi Yehuda Hanasi does not hold a muktza. He holds a person's das is on any animal he possibly can eat. Big Kiddush. So, one more time. Bechar Tam, Shenafu Lebar. Rabbi Yehuda Hanasi Oimer, Yeireid Mumcha V'Yiroya. Send the Mumcha down. I won't be much react to bring it up. Send the Mumcha down. Im Yesh Boi Mum. If there's a Mum, Yalev Yishchoit. Bring it up and what? Shecht it. Vim lav. If not, lo yishchot. Om le b'shem emenasya, hari omru, ein roi in mum in biyantif. Reb shem emenasya is like the sheet of Reb shem. Don't, you can't send anyone down there. You can't look at a mum on yantif. You can't even attack an animal. Ketzad. We're going to have three cases, guys. Ketzad, three cases. Noilid ba mum me erev yantif. If it went ahead and got a mum erev yantif. And you should have checked there of Yantif, and you didn't. You can't go ahead, what? You can't check. Guys, listen to my words. But if you do, you can check. You shouldn't check, because you should have checked from yesterday. But if you didn't check from yesterday and you're checking today, you checked, you could check. Case number one. Case number two. The mum came up on Yantif. It's not prepared. And if you ch- and if you check, you can't check. It's it's mamish metaking. You can't sh- you can't check at all. If it got the mum on Yantif, you can't check. If you check and, and you you're checking and you're saying it's mutter, you're being metaking, you're over on this like ticking mana, makivatish. You cannot check this animal. So, case number one, you should have checked Erev Yontif, you didn't. You checked on, you shouldn't check on Yontif, but you did. With the Eved, you could check. This case, the mum showed up on Yontif, and you check, and it's a mum, and you check, you can't eat it. I feel with the Eved, you can't eat it. That's case two. Case three, the Shavin, Rabbi Yehuda Hanasi, and Rabbi Shimon Ben Menasya, Shim Noilad Hu Umuma Imai. When it's born on Yontif, and you see right away that it had a mum, that it's permitted, and Pash guys, it's permitted to do what? To shech luchat chila. In other words, I would have three, three scenarios. One b'di'eved, one afilu, afilu b'di'eved not, and the third one afilu luchat chila, you could. Those would be the three scenarios. Again, one more time, outside. First scenario, it's born Erev Yontif. You should have checked. You didn't. Don't check on Yontif. If you do, with the Ebed, you could check. Born on Yontif, shouldn't check. If you do check, nothing. Born on Yontif with its mum, I feel you could check. Those are what? Those are the three scenarios. Now, Dorish Rabba Baravuna. I gave you, I just gave you Rabba Baravuna's din. Now, the third, guys, the third one is the one that is, is going to be. A questionable over here on that third scenario. 
Dorish Rabbi Rav Huna, Noi led who umuma imai. Mevakar I said beyond of lechatchila. He says you can check the lechatchila, and and you can check the need it. Amalei Rav Nachman Abba. He says of Nachman Abba Tani, my father learned im avar ubikroi mevukar. If you do check, then it's considered check. We had Amir mevakar I said lechatchila. You could do lechatchila. So Rav Nachman, in the name of his father, says even the last scenario is only be the event. So it comes out, guys. Case one and case three are all Bidiyeved. So really, you should have mixed up then one and three together. If you want to tell me a din that Bidiyeved, you want to tell me case one and case, case three, don't check. But if you do check, you're good. Amar Abaya, Kavase de Rabba Rav Huna Mistarba, that it's speaking Lechat Chila. So you have three different Piski Alachas. Case one, where uh, Bidiyeved. Case two, I feel Bidiyeved not. Case three, I feel Lechat Chila. I feel the chatchila, right? That would work. I'm a buyer. Kavasei the rabbi of whom is tabba. Medikani tilts above it. Learn three cases. Noyle boy mum mever of yantif. If they got a mum er of yantif, a mevakner is slave yantif. The chatchila who deloy. How do you have it? Shapadami. That's case number one. Case number two. Noyle boy mum of yantif. Of shimonaima ain't zem and amuchin. I feel the ever nami loy. Guys, look at me. Except the guys who are driving, look at me. We have three cases. One, it's born Erev Yantif. That's going to stay. You should have checked. You didn't check. And you check on Yantif, for the evidence, it's good. Case two, that's going to stay. Loy Rev Shimon, if it's born on Yontif, n- no way. You, can no, you can't eat that at all. Gone. Forget it. So first case for the Eved. Second case, totally out of the ballpark. Third case, it's born on Yontif with its mum. Shavin, no machloik is that it's prepared. Now, what does that mean prepared? Does it mean prepared that I feel lichat chila? You could shaft it. Or prepared that if you do check, then it's okay. So now, says Abaya, we have Machloikis. Rav Ada says Lechat Chila, and Rav Nachman says Bidiyeve. Says Abaya, it makes sense, Rav Ada, why? Now I'll have three different scenarios. I'll have Bidiyeve, I'll have not at all, and I'll have Lechat Chila. But according to you, Rav Nachman, you only have two scenarios. You have number one and number three, number one and number three being Bidiyeve, and number two being not at all. So why did you tell me why? Why did you have to tell me three cases? You could have told me two cases. That's what that's what Abaya just said. Let's see it again inside. Amr Abaya Kavase the Rav Rav Huna Mistabra that it's speaking lechat chila midiktani till sebabe when you when and and you said three cases heshi ron chav vav amid beis about eight lines down midiktani bavi another by by yoyim me'er me'er of yantif aim mevakar I said beyantif. Lechatchila, who the loy had the evet shapadami. You shouldn't check a lechatchila, but the evet if you do, you're okay. Second scenario, no lid by mum biyantif. Rav Shimon Oimer, ein zem and amuchan that fill the evet nami loy. That those those two cases remain. Now, behada tani the shavim and Rav Yehuda Nasi and Rav Shimon Ben Anusi they both ahead and they both admit Rav Shimon Ben Anasiya they both admit that lad. Okay, so very good. Says the Gemara, one second. He brought the following rice in his hand. Whether the mum came on Erev Yontif. But whether it was born Erev Yontif or was born on Yontif, the Chacham say, ain't Zemin HaMuchan. The Chum say it's not for the Muchan and meaning what? That you can eat it. The Chatchila of Shunt and the Chatchila, but I feel it with the Evet, right? I feel it with the Evet, right? Now, Velakasha and Rashimin, he said, Okay, very good. Guys, look at my, look at my hands. Until now, we've been learning case one and two. Case one was Bidiyeved, case two was, was, was uh, case two was not. 
Now you're telling me that case two is also with the Ebed. So very good. In other words, both, both these cases are he mixed in that these cases will be the Ebed. So if this case will be the Ebed, then the third case also be the Ebed. Like, in other words, they're all the Ebed. You know, there's three separate cases. In the way we learned initially, guys, it was the Ebed, not at all. Now you're telling me it's both the Ebed. So this case also be the Ebed, not Lechatchila. So if you're telling me it's three different cases, fine. It's not three different cases. Because one and two are the same. If one and two are the same, number three could all be the same. No, all speaking the Ebed. So if, if that's the case, if that's the case, that's case number one. case number two. And therefore, it's bidi eved. So the and so the third case could also be be bidi eved. If ela kasha hach, then it's if that's a, the kasha the raya to rabba that rabba bought from above that what that speaking lechatchila. Says Gemara, he that case above was Adabar Uchmi. He that was the Adabar Uchmi that Rashi brings is a Chacham who was accustomed to bringing wrong prices, corrupt prices. The the, mish, the Mishabesh, the Tani that he would have corrupt prices and he would learn it. So Lachari now it's all Bidi Eved. Om Rav Nachman Yitzchak Maslisa Nami Deka that it's Bidi Eved. The Tani of Shimon Oimer Kol Shein Muma Nikar Meir Yantif. Anything that it's Mum is not recognizable Meir Yantif. Now, what does it mean, ain't mukan, ain't mumma nikka? What does it mean, there's no mumma at all? Elamish ain't mumma nikka, klal, pshita. Guys, if there's no mumma at all, Rabbi Shimon wouldn't even say anything, because Rabbi Huda Zikha would say that's awesome. Rabbi Huda Matit, guys. Rabbi Huda said, go ahead and check it out. If there was no mum to check out, Rabbi Huda would say mukta. And Rabbi Shimon knows his din. So obviously, when Shimon said mumma nikka, he wasn't speaking about there was no mumma at all. Because if there's no mumma at all, we're not even at first base. Because according to Rabbi Huda, it's all mukta. Ella must be the something there. Tzrichlem Eimer, Ella, Pshita Tzrichlem Eimer, Ella, what do you have to say? Dleis Chazil Chacham, it was there, but he didn't show it to a Chacham Yerav Yantif. Imum Kavua, Imum Maivri, right, Ketani. So Ketani Miyais, Ein Zeh Min Amuchan. You see that what? That Imum Nik Ein Min Amuchan, that it's Bidi Eved, not. Shema Mina, that it's not Bidi Eved. Shema Mina is speaking all Bidi Eved. I feel a Bidi Eved. And so Rashi says, "Um, hashda al kochik v'shavim shem noilad hu muma imay shazem and amuchim b'di eved." Come on, in other words, according to this, it's not even a filu b'di eved. First two cases, guys. Now let's get a maskana. Case number one, it's born erev yontif. Case number two, it's born beyontif. You don't show it to a chacham, you're out of the ballpark. They agree, however, if it's born in yontif with a mum, that b'di eved it's good. Again, initially, here's here's what we thought, and here's how it changed. Here, we thought the following. Case one is okay with the Evan. Case two is no good at all. Case three is good. I feel the chila. And now here's why we're changing. One and two are not good at all. And, and case number three is I feel the Evan, but no case is Lechatchila. No case is Lechatchila. That's the way we're learning now. Boy, me nay, Hillel may, may, may Rava. Hillel is the following shout from Now, this is, guys, this is Rav Hillel the Amoira. He's speaking to Rava. This is the one Hillel who made the calendar. People mistakenly think that Hillel Azakin made the calendar. It was not. It was Hillel and Amoira that made the calendar. So we're saying over here, boy, mine, Rav Hillel me Rava. Yesh muktzel chati Shabbos or ain muktzel chati Shabbos. Meaning, is it possible that something becomes muktz partially, and if it becomes muktz partially, then it's muktz the whole time, or no, it's not muktz at all? Well, what's another case? Epidami. If it was available, then it's good the whole, yon, the whole Shabbos. And if it's not good, then it's not good. Then it's not good. So like, here's the case. The Chazay, it was good. Then it was no good. Then it was good. Guys, you have Paris. You're drying them. They're good. The rain falls down. You can eat them. They're no good. Then the good, they get dried up again. Now they are good. Do we say since there was a period on, on Shabbos where they were no good because they were muktzah because of the rain, they were mias because of the rain, the whole Shabbos is no good? Or do we say since Ben Hashmoshes they went in, it's good, it's good? Why does this have to do with Asugi? Amalei yesh muktzah. 
So, so uh, Rava answered him, Yesh Muktza. In other words, there is Muktza. It, it, it would be Muktza. Esabe from our Mishnah. Vishavim, both Rabbi Yehuda and Rabbi Shimon, Amaida, Shem Noilad Uman Imai, Shesemin Amuchan. That what? That it's okay. The Amai, Nema, Hai Bechame, Karabi Chase. Before it was born, the animal inside the mother was seen, you could eat it agav the mother. Bein it wasn't born yet. Iskaladlei, now it's born with its mum, it's, it's born with its mum. So itchale, now it, well, it's, it's out of the ballpark, right? Achsei lechacham, you now show the mum to a chacham, and ishtri lei, it becomes muta. So they both equal, they're both equal, you could use it, but one second. It was in the ballpark when it was in its mother's womb, it's out of the ballpark when it's born, right? Because it's a, it's a tam, it's muktzah. And now it's back in the ballpark, what? When you show it to a chacham. So it's like, showing it to a chacham is like the rain drying up. So l'chayra, and over there it was good. So why does Rava say, yesh muktzah, over there, both the Tanai and Rabbi Yehuda Nasi and Rabbi Shimon ben Am- 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 Amnasia, they both held it was good. Am Rabbiya, Vitem Rav Safra, Kigoyim, the Yasvei Daini Hasam. <clears throat> there never was a moment where this thing was out of the ballpark. There was a dying right there at the birth. As it was coming out, he took one look at it and said, Mutta. So it was Mutta all along. So you don't have a Tzushtel. You wanted a Tzushtel good when it's in its mother's womb, not good when it's out of the womb. No, no, that second thing doesn't exist. It never was out, of, never was not good. There was a dying there who was right there and mapped it. Ikid Yami, Amale, Amale. Ein muktzel chatsi Shabbos. Rabbi said, Ein muktzel chatsi Shabbos, and it's muta. So now you have a raya. Let me messiahly. I'll bring you a raya. The shavim shem noilad umuma ima yishazem and amuchan. Iva bechor mei kara havei chazi agavime was in the ballpark. It's yadule. It it gives birth and atchle. It's out of the ballpark. It's chazi lechacham ishtri le. So lechari, what do you see? That even though it was out of the ballpark at a certain time, it can be back in. So then by Shabbos, even though it was out of the ballpark, it could go back in. Um, Rabbi, the Tem Rav is going to Yasve Dani Hasam. There was a Dayan there sitting at the time, and therefore, why you can't bring me a Raya? Okay, so we saw today a very interesting Shaila about a Bukhar, Machloikis, with Rabbi Yehuda, about Royan, and Rabbi Shimon, Ain Royan. We saw that the Kiddush was that even if you take it out of the pit, according to Rabbi Shimon, you shouldn't look at it, right? <clears throat> and uh, we saw Allah, they both agree that if you do, if the mum is born with it on Sha'an Yantif, you would be the Evet Shech the Lat Shech the animal. It was born Erev Yontif, was born, born on Yontif itself, according to Rabbi Shimon, you couldn't shecht it. According to Rabbi Yehuda, uh, Bidi Eved, you would be able to shecht the animal, if, as long as there was a mum before him. If there was no mum at all, Erev Yontif, Rabbi Yehuda would say, it's muktz, the whole thing, and the whole Shailah doesn't begin. We're holding in the middle of a Shailah, whether yesh, yesh muktz, the chatsi Shabbos, ain muktz. We had one Lushen that yesh, it's muktz. We had another Lushen that ain't muktz. And we'll continue, Bez Hashem, tonight sometime to be decided. I don't know when the second share, okay?